Hey guys and gals, Von Baden back here behind the camera. You're looking at my table, a template, and some wood. So, you're probably saying to yourself, what am I looking at? You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. All right, here we are. We're back. So, a little background information for you on what's going on here. My wife had requested me to make her a noodle board. Um, I will see if I can find a picture or something and post it over here somewhere. The corner, I don't know. But anyways, um, if I can't find one, it, it's for in the kitchen. Put it over the top of your... Uh, your stove and she wanted me to put the sugar skull on there and requested that I would burn it she went as far as actually getting me these really cool things um, that I wasn't sure how they work so we're going to do a kind of a product test and show you and whatnot but these Scorch Marker Pro Wood Burning Made Easy Pens. That's right. So, very easy to use. Um, you're supposed to sand your wood surface um, down with a 220 grit, but I, like I said, I've never used these before, and I just wanted to see what they were capable of. So, the end result might be better if I actually had sanded this. I don't know. Um, but, nonetheless. I took my template and I put my template on there. And, basically, these marks that you're seeing here are these flower paisley water splashes, whatever you want to call them, on the template. And <clears throat> you're supposed to take the marker, shake it up to get the elements all working together. You have a bullet tip, which is exactly that, a bullet tip. And then you have at the other end, a sp sponge foam wed sponge thingy dear it's a I don't know if that's gonna zoom in or not or focus anyways it is a pie shaped foam brush that's what I actually used on that I did not use the foam tip and then you take your heat gun you heat it up after you've drawn your design on there and it makes it look like it's wood burned. I will see if I can zoom in on that. Sorry for the camera moving. And like I said, I wasn't looking to do a whole bunch. I just wanted to see how good it would come out on a piece of wood that had not been treated um but basically like i said here let me get this the right way at least it's kind of like this i'm like doing a really horrible job because the camera and all that but anyways i think you get the point these dots right here are these ones here that's part of this leaf right here so got a better idea like I said this camera is kind of in the way me showing this real well but hey but anyways it did really well I think it would have came out a lot better if the wood 
have been treated. Like I said, I did not sand it down. It does suggest you sanding it. And then um, you put the marker on there and you move your, you put the marker on there, you move it around and it looks like it wood burned. Um, it does not have the, the feel of something that's been wood burned, but it definitely looks wood burned. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what it will do on the finished project. Cause like I said, never used it before. The last thing I wanted to do was put something all together and then find out that it turns the finished project looking like a piece of crap. So try it out on my foam board, anvil, witchman jigger that I made. Figured it was wood. It was worth a shot because this doesn't need to be pretty. So overall, very easy to use. Um, I do like the results. We're gonna see what happens when I do this whole design. I think it's gonna look pretty good. I'm kind of excited about it and it's not even something for me. So we'll see, but nonetheless, uh, I will do my best to put a link for these in the description in case you want to try them out. Uh, not bad. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if so, give it a thumbs up. No thumbs down, please. No thumbs up. And I will see all of you. And you will see me on the very next video. Thanks.